Hi, I'm Dr. Donald McDavid, and welcome to part two of the 21 day challenge. In the first part, we talked about how toxins impact our body, how they create hormone disruption, how they create metabolic imbalances, weight gain, and high cholesterol. But we didn't have a chance to talk about how the program works and how you can implement the 21 day challenge on an everyday basis. So part two of the 21 day challenge is right now on how to implement it and get pure. Let's listen to my lecture. So the detoxification program, we'll talk about a couple different programs. The standard process detoxification program is to support the function of the liver, the stomach, the bowels, the kidneys, and to filter those toxins, they're called xenobiotics, but the toxins from the body. We talk about all those systems and why it's important to hit them all. The procedure, it's a hypoallergenic, low toxic, low diet. We talked about that. If you put toxins in, it's just gonna make it that much harder for you to clean out the ones that are there. So for 21 days, yeah, you have to have a low toxic load as best you can. Then we provide supplements and meal replacements to support not only detoxification, we'll explain how we do that, but to also make sure you're getting proper nutrients, all right? You have to make sure that you're having enough nutrients to still sustain yourself. You don't want to go into a fast. It's not a water fast, it's not a juice fast. It's a cleansing purification process. So you want to maintain your everyday activities. It's a 21 program that will support that elimination of the chemical and environmental toxins. So that's the bottom line with the standard process program. But what are the additional benefits of purification with this program? Well, cholesterol management. Uh, Tom A, July 1st, cholesterol is 263. Triglycerides were 181. LDL, the bad cholesterol is 174. Uh, afterwards, September 15th, so that was two and a half months, right? Cholesterol was 178, wow, nice. Triglycerides, 107, and LDL, 107, very nice. But that was kind of, you know, a lot could happen between July and, 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 and September, but it was good, but you could have been doing other things too. So let's look at Megan's. April 9th, cholesterol is 344. Okay, Irma said it should be around 200. Uh, yeah, 380. Okay, we got to get you on the program. Years, 10 years ago. Uh, triglycerides were 787, and heart risk, the ratio of good to bad cholesterol is 7.2. Afterwards, cholesterol is 182, triglycerides were 108, and heart risk dropped down to 3.7. Wait a minute, April 9th, May 12th, that's, that's a month. Wow. That's a month. That's not eight weeks. It's not 12 weeks, it's a month. Well, what about John, John, John H? April 1, cholesterol is 230, triglycerides were 145, ratio is 5.5. April 23rd, three weeks, people, 21 days, cholesterol 185, triglycerides 85, heart risk 5.0. The reason that it was only 5.0 is because the total cholesterol came down, but it's good cholesterol didn't go up. It takes HDL time to go up. The only way to get your good cholesterol up is exercise. It's the only, unless you're genetically predisposed, it's exercise. So that's the relationship between cleansing, purifying, and getting off those internal toxins. And it's also a very low fat diet for 21 days. It works for cholesterol. Jane was March 23rd, April 18th, 231, 128, 4.2, 176, 87, 3.8. It's nice. Again, three weeks. So it doesn't always have to take a long period of time. Research studies, there's two studies with this program specifically. <clears throat> One was a retrospective. They looked at all the data after the people did it. It was published in the Journal of Chiropractic Medicine in 2008. It was a nutritional program, provided lipid, your cholesterol profiles, and weight in 28 chiropractic patients, respective case series, and it showed those same results. Cholesterol dropped dramatically, and there was weight loss. LDL cholesterol dropped dramatically. But it was retrospective. So then, Logan Chiropractic College said, all right, let's take a bunch of people and tell them not to change their diet and give them the same protocols. Continue to eat what you normally eat. And guess what? They did 40 people. It was a prospective, okay? They put them on the program, and they found a decrease in blood pressure, improvement in their lipids and their cholesterol, and a little bit of weight loss and modest BMI, body mass index changes. So guess what? The program does something. You do it right, 
and you cut out all the toxic overload and you eat properly and you get terrific results. Okay? You can. You get, it, you get your body balanced. Marianne asked if you get to normal. Well, it's not about normal, it's about getting your body balanced. Because everybody's balanced body is a little different. Okay? So let's begin. How do we begin? You can start tomorrow with a hypoallergenic and low glycemic diet. Because when you have a high glycemic diet, you eat foods that drive your blood sugar up fast and keep your blood sugar up high, it drives inflammation. Inflammation drives fat gain. Fat stores toxins, so you're getting the toxins in, they're there, they're going to go right to the fat, they become disruptors in your metabolism. Inflammation drives disease, so you need a high, low glycemic diet, and it needs to be hypoallergenic. No dairy, no wheat, no corn, no soy, no beans, right off the top. It's tough. Is it forever? No. It's 21 days. Question, Irma? Say that again. But glycemic diet. Okay. Every time your blood sugar goes up, it drives inflammation. Okay? So if you're eating foods that drive it up and keep it up high, it drives a lot of inflammation. Inflammation then will create weight gain. Toxins, which are in our environment, we talked about it, they're in our foods, we're exposed to them all the time, will get stored in the fat. You gain fat, you store more toxins. And then all of a sudden it starts to disrupt your body's metabolism. Yeah, but what is glycemic diet? Is it cereal? Low glycemic diet means foods that don't drive your blood sugar up high. It means low carbohydrate diet. Okay? Or carbohydrates that don't cause a big spike in your blood sugar. Okay? Uh, for example, pineapple is a low glycemic fruit. It's a fruit, but it doesn't give you as high a spike in, in blood sugar. It has less fructose than like an apple. Okay? That's a whole nother chart I can give you, Marion. We have it at the office, okay? Um, sorry. Exercise, we talked about it. But we also want to reduce exposure to the internal and external toxins. We talked about that. Exercise, we talked about it. Simple cardio. You don't have to run 42 miles. Well, simple cardio, just get the blood circulating, get the lungs working. It's not intense. It's nice and easy, nice and light. If you're unable to do it, because of pain or dysfunction, then we have to modify that. We introduce it when we can. The length of time, 30, ideally 30 to 40 minutes, light to moderate. You want to do a little bit heavier you can, but it's not heavy workout every day. Okay? If you can tolerate a heavier workout, great. But that's not the goal. The goal is just get things working. Uh, drink more water. We talked about it. You know why. Okay? Pure water, purified water is great. Mineral water is great. It's got nice and minerals in there. Okay? Watermelon it's great. Is good too. I'm sorry? Watermelon has a lot of minerals in it. Mm-hmm. But you know, watermelon is very high in sugar too, so you got to be careful. Okay? You got to be careful. Now we want a low sugar load. You can eat fruits, but you don't want a lot because we don't want to drive that inflammatory reaction. Mm -hmm. So we're using foods differently. That's where the supplements come in because you're not going to be eating normally. All right? And since you're not going to be eating normally, you got to make sure you get all your nutrients, yeah. especially protein. Because you notice there's no protein in here, okay, as you'll notice in a minute. Cleanse the colon, kidneys, and liver. Okay, we talked about all that, all right? That's the goal, all right? So what are the first 10 days of your 21-day challenge, all right? Real simple. Uh, fruits and veggies only. That's it. We talked about sugars, so we don't want a lot of fruit. We don't want a lot of root vegetables. We don't want a lot of carrots. We don't want a lot of sweet potatoes. We don't want a lot of turnips. We don't want a lot of parsnips because they're high in sugar content. Okay? I remember I was on the, 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 the purification program and I was having carrots. And I said, oh, this is great. I have some carrots. I need some carrots. And that's what I had like for the afternoon. And I was like, I had like a sugar rush. And I really felt crappy. Okay? Because I was eating too much sugar. Yeah. Okay? Um, Unlimited amount of raw, organic fruits and vegetables, particularly green leafy vegetables. Now, people were here for my um, anti-inflammatory lecture. Well, remember we said if you eat a high glycemic food, like a piece of fruit, but you have vegetation, green leafy vegetation with it, it helps to balance it. It makes it less inflammatory. Mm -hmm. So green is the key with this 21-day program. Kale, red beets, Swiss chard, asparagus, they're all great. 
We can go on and on, okay? No, the fat pigs, can, they, they, they can be cooked, right? Yeah, they can be cooked, but we'll talk about preparation of the food. Lightly steamed is ideal or raw in the beginning. Why? We want a maximum of nutrients and just cooked enough so your body can easily digest it. Can you drink it? Yes, you can blend it and make shakes. Shakes are great. Okay. And you can put all the supplements in your shake too. Mm -hmm. Okay, what really easy. Microwave, does it lose? You know, I'm not a fan of the microwave. I prefer people not microwave their food, especially now we're talking about toxic environment. And we're talking about changing the chemicals of your food. So for the 21 days, we'll hold off on the microwave. And again, it's a whole nother, whole nother lecture. Mm -hmm. um, and drink a couple of shakes of the standard complete. We'll talk about that, mostly for protein, but we'll tell you what else is in there in a minute. Supplements, and these are some other supplements. We'll talk about that later. Again, to help with the cleansing process. Can you just do the foods? Sure. That was the, that was the detoxification program I learned 30 years ago in chiropractic school. I'll tell you right now, how do we detox? For two weeks, vegetables, I'm sorry, breakfast, fruit, as much as you want. Lunch, salad, olive oil with lemon or natural spices. Dinner, steamed vegetables. That was it for two weeks. That was the detoxification I learned 30 years ago. Now we know we can ramp it up and facilitate with cleansing, with simple nutrients. Days 11 through 21, yeah, and here comes your protein. Okay, so you can have some uh, meat, fish, or poultry. We'll talk about those choices in a moment. You want them very lean. You want them free range or wild caught. Still unlimited raw fruits and vegetables. Again, primarily green leafy vegetables. That's the key. key. Kale, kohlrabi, collard, spinach. Broccoli, broccoli rob, all those things. Uh, you can steam them, okay? See, raw means, means uncooked. Raw means raw, okay? Um, steamed, lightly steamed, okay? You can get those in as well. You still are avoiding all other foods. We still don't see dairy. We still don't see nuts. We still don't see uh, grains, all right? Those are your high allergic foods, all right? And pesticide-ridden foods. And you still on your shake, and you still on your supplements. The only supplement change is this green food because you want more greens, you want more greens, and a little bit of this SP cleanse. Again, we'll talk about that. All right? Beverages, water, water, water. Okay? Lots of water. Green tea is great. You can have lots of green tea. All right? I know it's got some caffeine. <coughs> Don't stress about it. Okay? It's not, a, it's not a big issue. All right? Spring water or mineral water is best because you do get minerals from the San Pellegrino and from the uh, Perrier. There are minerals in there which is beneficial for you, okay? People go to the mineral springs in Saratoga and soak with them. Why? Because the minerals get absorbed through their skin. You can get toxins, but you can get good stuff too. Epsom salt bath. You get magnesium and calcium into your skin, into your muscles, so it helps with the muscle aches. There's therapeutic benefit. Foods to avoid. This is the biggest slide. This is what you don't have for 21 days. Margarine spreads, corn oil, vegetable oil, Crisco, safflower, sunflower, all hydrogenated oils, all trans fats. Why? Because they all drive inflammation and they all clog up the liver and the gallbladder and your colon. Okay? No caffeine or alcohol for 21 days, all right? Because it's just a strain on the system. And alcohol also is very high in glycemic index. Uh, no tobacco or other stimulants, all right? Uh, no soft drinks. Uh, and then no soft drinks really ever. Even zero calorie soft drinks create metabolic syndrome. There's research on that. So just soft drinks are a bad choice. Uh, you can take mineral water with some juice, okay? Or uh, seltzer water with a little juice, all right? No nuts, no beans, no grains, all right? So for the first 21 days, it's kind of intense, all right? That's why you do need to supplement with some protein and some other foods, all right? So purification is beyond detoxification. What are the products and how do they work? SP Complete is the protein supplement. It gives you many nutrients in a highly bioavailable form. It provides antioxidants, right? To the H2O, that extra O that was floating around. Remember we talked about that with the water? That's a free radical. Antioxidants bind to the free radicals and neutralize them so the body can excrete them or recycle them. And it supports healthy liver function. What's in it? Well, let's just go to this next one. What's in it is whey protein. Flax is anti-inflammatory. Brown rice protein, okay? 
Um, buckwheat is really good for reducing inflammation and helps with glycemic index, ironically. Brussels sprouts, kale, ripe, carrots, we were talking about. Those are all things you're supposed to eat raw. These supplements are made in the United States on an organic farm where they grow all their own stuff. So this product line, this company is all about whole foods, taking whole foods, drying them, grinding them up and giving to them, which means they really don't taste great. <laughs> okay, but they get the job done, all right? So those are barley, grass, you know what I mean? Everybody go to the health food store and they take wheatgrass shooters, really high in that chlorophyll, really high in nutrients. Greens are really, really important, okay? And osphol is great for brain and, and uh, uh, nerve function. The other one you take the first 10 days is SD cleanse. This is where the liver, gastrointestinal, and kidney function comes through. Okay? These are a bunch of herbs that help get more function through that phase one and phase two detoxification of the liver we talked about. It helps you get through more water through your kidneys, all right? And it also helps to assess the lymphatic system purification. How does it do that? Junipers, diuretics, red clover for the kidneys. Apple pectin is great for your intestines. It's a good prebiotic. Now, there's current research has shown that everyone's taking probiotics, acidophilus, good bacteria to live in your colon, and it's real healthy and it's important. Your bacterial flora might actually be more of a reflection of not what you take in, but of the food, what kind of bacteria you eat, like whether you take acidophilus or whether you eat yogurt, whether you eat sauerkraut, which we know Irma makes homemade, which is great. Um, but it may be more of a factor of the foods you eat which are the nutrients for certain microorganism strains. Did you guys follow me on that? So apple pectin is really good for certain microorganisms. So the food you eat actually drives your intestinal flora. That's one of the current theories. So what about plain yogurt? Yogurt's good. You want to get real yogurt, not like yo play blended yeah, colored yogurt. pink That's with good. high fructose corn syrup in it. You want, I go with plain yogurt, preferably the the high protein Greek, but I go with plain, yes. and then I sweeten it myself if need be, or I put some yeah. fresh fruit with it myself. Yeah, really. So, initially in the 21 days, no, no, yogurt's a good choice, but not in the first 21 days, no. Barak, kidneys, fenugreek is for cholesterol, grapefruit powder for antioxidants, Spanish black radish, phase two detoxification of liver. There's the barley grass again. So you're taking a bunch of SB cleanse. That's the purification part, right? You can just eat good, uh, a detox diet and take some Metamucil and you'll poop, but it's not gonna purify. This is the purification part, all right? Green food, after you purify, we had lots of greens because greens are high in antioxidants to suck up those free radicals that you've kicked up and those toxins, okay? It's organically grown whole food concentrates. Again, buckwheat juice, barley, Brussels sprouts, kale, and alfalfa. You should be eating all this. You can blend it and drink it. You know, that would be great, Lynn. A ton of that. Uh, and you really want to try to go organic for the first 21 days so as how, best you can. How, how often do you do this? Twice a day? You, you take a lot of this stuff. Three times a day. Okay. Yeah, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of pills and a couple of powders. Okay? It is. No, it's a bunch. The, the, this green food. Green food, yeah. Take it two to three times a day. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. But again, this is just for the last 10 days. First 10 days is the is is the cleanse sp cleanse the last 10 days is green food so you don't do them both all the time but this gastro fiber you take the whole time that's to get you to poop <laughs> okay that's to get everything in between the little villi and get them out let's get those villi cleaned out and let's help them get healthy okay let's get all the gunk in between the villi and it also promotes ph balance in the gi tract your body needs to be more alkaline. You have a tendency to be very acidic. All of these foods, all of this protocol will drive you into an alkaline state, which that alone will make you healthier. All these foods, all these protocols will drive you into a low inflammatory state, which will make you healthier and will make you feel better. So if those are the only two benefits you get out of the program, you're ahead of the game. You're ahead of the game, okay? Um, it's an optimal environment for growth of friendly bacteria. We talked about that, all right? So you have to have the right foods for the good bacteria to live off of. It's not just taking the probiotic. So other things we may use, I find I need a little extra protein. There's no external protein. The only protein you get is from the shakes. 
so I may add a little extra whey protein. I use their rice, pro rice protein product because it tastes better, all right? But I will add a little bit of whey protein. Every now and then I'll take some more omega-3s because I need them personally, all right? Uh, Jamea, that's for people that have blood sugar issues. That helps them stabilize their blood sugar. We may add a little bit more. But if you do the foods right, you shouldn't need many, many of your other supplements. If you're on certain medications, we can talk about that. But most of your supplements you won't need when you're on the program. Is this, for everybody? But, is this good for everybody? That's my question. It has the potential for being good for everybody. Yeah. I would not undergo any purification or detoxification program without consulting with your health care provider. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it should be fine for 98 and 44, 100% of the people. If somebody's on Coumadin, we're not going to take them off Coumadin, you know? If somebody's on an anti-epileptic medication, I'm not going to take them off that. So you you have, follow me? You but you still have to check with your doc. You have to on the doctor. Yeah, you should always check your doc before you undergo any, <laughs> any, any no financial right. Well, that's why they have to come see somebody who knows, all right? So, yeah, you want to keep an eye on it, all right? What age they can start? The teenagers can Yeah, start. teenagers would be fine. I would say 14 or over, maybe a little, a little bit younger. You wouldn't need as extensive a program. It's probably, I would probably do a little more targeted program. I mean, I had a two-year-old in yesterday with psoriasis, and we're not going to be able to put on this type of program. You follow me? So we're going to have to do other things. But a teenager, no problem. Uh, and if there are 130, 150 pounds, 100%. You know, if there are 100 pounds, we may cut back in a couple of the supplements. Yeah. But that was the question, was how soon can you start it? A two-year-old psoriasis? Yeah. yeah. That's another issue. When I had eight, when I was eight, mm -hmm. I woke up with it. Mm -hmm. And you got rid of it. And the doctor says, she never going to get rid of it. My mother said, how come? He says, look, would I have it if there's a cure? And he had it himself. Mm -hmm. And doctor called him Frederick about yeah. 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. I heard him on the radio. Mm -hmm. If anybody had psoriasis, you can't take enough lecithin. So yeah. I went out and got lecithin, omega-3, mm -hmm. and within six weeks, I was totally clear. Isn't that great? Never had this thing again. Omega-3s are anti-inflammatory. Less than helps you metabolize so your fats better, right? So the skin didn't dry up, it get achy. For you, it worked. That's great. That's Acne great. And, and uh, eczema works all with lecithin. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Irma's going to get the lecture next week. We're doing, we're doing, we're doing an acne <laughs> and uh, lecithin, lecithin lecture next month. Anybody I see on the street who has it, I tell them. It's up to them if they want to do it. Nah, now you're yeah. talking. So whey protein complete. You know, sometimes, basically, you're getting, the only protein you're getting is from the shakes. You're only getting about 30 grams a day. So I do add extra protein sometimes, sometimes, okay? Uh, Omega-3s are just omega-3 oils, which are great for anti-inflammatory. Very high in DHA, which is good for nerve health, okay? Why is this tuna? tuna. That's just where they get theirs. Oh. It's, that's, a, that's just where they get theirs. The tuna is very good, but it's high in DHA, okay? And as you mentioned, we talked about that. It's for healthy blood sugar levels for people with carbohydrate priorities, all right? But let's talk a little bit about wrapping it up. What happens when you get done? Great, I'm cleansed, I'm purified, I didn't eat all these foods. Well, then what do you do? You have to transition to an anti-inflammatory dietary lifestyle. And you do that by reintroducing one food at a time. You introduce nuts for a week. How do you feel? I feel okay. Next week, you introduce milk. I feel okay. The next week, you introduce whole grains. Oh, I'm starting to feel crappy. You take it out. Oh, I'm feeling better. You put it back. I'm feeling crappy. You take it out. I'm feeling better. You know, it's like uh, the, the, uh, the song. But the bottom line is that's how you slowly transition to an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. Anti-inflammatory lifestyle is the way I eat. It can be handled with not a lot of effort. It's lots of vegetation, low carbohydrate, low fruits and vegetables, very minimal to no grains, no hydrogenated fats, red wine, stout beer, green tea, all right? So it's very doable, all right? And that's a healthy lifestyle. Vegetables and fruits, we talked about it. Nuts you reintroduce. Lean protein's gotta be wild caught or um, grass fed. Low glycemic, we talked about that. Low glycemic foods and whole grains in moderation. Here, however, your exercise, you have to add resistance training now. You need to build muscle. 
Let's build muscle because that will stimulate your metabolism. That will help you burn more fat so you won't regain everything. So you have to make sure you get enough protein in your diet and do resistance training. This is the new food pyramid. Green, greens on the bottom. Colored vegetables. You have protein, eggs, grains, water, fresh fruit, omega-3 fish, and then spices, organic teas and coffees, and chocolate. Grains are very little and not the base of the pyramid anymore. So what are patients saying? Um, over the past five years, got a better healthy diet. It was a great kickstart for me. I lost 10 pounds and 14.5 inches. It was a great reminder of how to eat with consciousness. Very satisfying to uh, control my cravings. All right, um, let's go. We have a couple more patient experiences. The bottom line is, um, I feel like I've been better in the last 10 years. Um, for the first time in years, I slept soundly through the night. Not that pitiful, restless, but deep, solid sleep all night long. My hands and feet and ankles stopped swelling. Headaches went away. Unbelievable energy. All right? So that's what you can expect. Thank you for your time tonight. Next month, this is the Wise Way to Wellness Seminar. We want you to take charge of your health and be informed. Next month, we're doing headaches. Did you know that 83.7% of headaches respond to chiropractic care based on a Duke University study? Mm -hmm. So if you have headaches and you haven't already detoxified, you're still having them. If you're having headaches, so if people are having headaches, that's the lecture next month. I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. It's going to be the second Tuesday of the month, 7.15 p.m. It's been a great series. It's really been a terrific series. If you missed either part of the series, uh, you can contact me and I can provide them to you. Also, if you're interested in finding out what your toxicity number is, we do have an environmental exposure questionnaire in the office. So just give us a call at 908-771-0220 and we can send over the questionnaire to find out your level of toxicity. And if you need any other information about implementing the 21-day program and getting your life back now, don't just detoxify, purify. You can do it with natural, organic nutrients and supplements to get your life back, to get rid of pain, to get rid of dysfunction, and to start that resurfacing on a healthy lifestyle. I'm Dr. Donald DeFabio. Thanks for tuning into this series. It's been my pleasure serving you. And as always, I'm a phone call away. And thanks for tuning in. Have a good night.